Welcome to Rock TV News. My name is Sarah McCormick. And I'm Bree Zershmeen. Last Saturday, Radford University hosted its 21st annual Highlander Festival in Bissett Park. The festival included a variety of activities including sheep herding, face painting, local bands, and local food trucks. The festival brings in 10,000 students and locals each year. The Highlander Festival used to be on campus, but in recent years, moved to Bissett Park because of construction. On Wednesday, Radford University hosted a volunteer food drive event called Radford Gives Back in the Mac courts of the Student Recreation and Wellness Center to benefit the local nonprofit organization Bobcats Backpacks Program. The program serves over 110 students with weekend food insecurity every week throughout the entire year. Radford students and community were encouraged to donate canned goods, help make the bags and deliver them to the Presbyterian Church. On October 18th, Radford University women's soccer team played their last home game of the year against UNC Asheville. The Highlanders won the game. Radford will take on Campbell University tomorrow night in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. The Lady Highlanders are currently fifth in the Big South Division. Last Friday, Our Space hosted a free haunted house and escape room event from 9 p.m. to midnight in the basement of Heath Hall to get students in the Halloween spirit. Students enjoyed the spooky haunted house and escape room along with free food, coke floats, prizes, and life-size games. Every Halloween you think of a haunted house instantly um, and escape rooms are gaining popularity so we definitely decided to bring those back to campus but we do late nights um, just to provide a safe alternative for students on campus so um, that they can have fun um, in, a, in a nice environment. On October 19th, there was a jazz ensemble concert in the Covington Center. The concert was called Edge of the Earth and was put on entirely by students. On October 18th, the Radford University Women's and Gender Studies Department had a table at the Bonnie for Love Your Body Day. Love Your Body Day is a national event held to encourage self-acceptance. So you shouldn't worry about what other people think about you. You should feel comfortable with yourself and, you know, just love yourself as a person and you should be good to go in life. Here's a look at what's coming up this weekend and next week. DAP will be hosting rapper Wale tonight in Preston Auditorium. Doors open at 7.30. Tickets are free and you can pick them up with your student ID in Heath 157. Election day is coming up fast. If you are voting absentee, you need to have your ballot in by Tuesday, October 31st. Otherwise, polls are open 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. on November 7th. The Radford University School of Communications, Department of Theater and Cinema, and Rock TV are hosting a roundtable of the best horror movie scenes called Horror Smackdown on October 30th from 6.30 to 8 in Chubb's room 1006. Come stop by and vote which scene you think is the scariest. Radford Women's Volleyball will face Charleston Southern on November 4th in the Deadman Center at 4 p.m. Be sure to stop by Deadman and cheer on our Highlanders. Radford women's basketball is kicking off their season with a home opener versus Lynchburg on November 5th in the Deadman Center at 5 p.m. For more information on this game and other Radford sports, check out Radford Athletics on social media or their website. Our space will be hosting hypnotist Michael C. Anthony on November 16th on the Bonnie stage from 6 to 8 p.m. Admission is free with your RU ID. Here's a look at what your forecast for next week is going to look like. It's starting to feel like fall in the New River Valley, with high temperatures in the lower 60s during the day and lows in the 30s as we go into the evening. If you have an announcement you'd like to make, email us at rock-tv at radford.edu. Thanks for watching Rock TV. We'll see you next time.